Hello awesome people, what is going on? It's Brad Fusion here and welcome to a game I absolutely love the crap out of. This is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now I haven't done a video on this game at all, I've been playing it by myself though for quite a few hours. I'm not even too sure what my actual playtime is, though I know I have sunk in an absolute ton of hours into this game. And I haven't even really made, mainly, I haven't played the story much. I played maybe, I mean going towards the main quest line. Probably an hour or two, if, if that. I don't think I've really focused much on the story. I've, I've been enjoying running around the world doing a whole bunch of different quests and stuff, but I thought I would do a video on this game today. I wanted to try recording at 1080p and doing 60 FPS, so this might be a little bit of a shorter video than normal, as I'm going to pr probably only do one real quest. But I wanted to see how this would work in terms of file size and compared to my other videos and such. And I see how hard, uh, how much more difficult it is and how much more taxing it is on my PC. So I thought why not start out with a game that's uh, quite taxing as it is. So welcome everyone to the world of Witcher 3. I How I love this world. This game is so beautiful. Uh, and again, I'm not going to show you guys any spoilers today. Though I am doing a quest. So the, the quest itself will contain quest spoilers. Uh, basically, we're looking for a lady who went missing. I found a notice board uh, in one of the towns I was just at, and the, the guy basically was saying that he his wife went missing a couple days ago, and I thought we'd go investigate and try and see if, exactly if we can find where her wife, uh, where his wife is. My apologies. Uh, even though it could be her wife, but I know I've met the guy, and the guy is actually a guy. So, anyways, moving on from that. So, if I look at the map real quick here, you guys can see that I'm in Black Bow, or Black Bow, Black Bow, I'm not entirely too sure how to say that. And anyway, this is where the husband lives, and just the other day her wife, his wife, my mistake again, uh, apparently wandered off into the forest as acclaimed by one of the children in the town, they saw her wandering off in the morning. And uh, so I'm going to have to go investigate that. Now I already have pretty much done the starting part of the quest where I do the communications of sort. So I might do another quest after this one, just so you guys get a feel of how the quests actually work. Which I think is quite nice, because a lot of it involves investigations before you actually do the quest. Because if I go over to my quest line here, you guys, can see the, uh, you guys can see the one I'm actually doing here. I've talked to the hunter, which was the person who put up the contract, and then I talked to the neighbours around the place to see if they saw or knew anything that had happened at the point. As you guys can see, I am level 5 right now. I haven't, again, been doing too much in the game. I, I've spent a lot of time in it, but I haven't gotten to the point of really focusing on leveling up or anything. Though I will say I am focusing a lot on my signs, because I think the signs are, are probably the coolest element of this, so I am focusing a lot on using my Axie and my Gwen, which is the shield of sorts. Uh, I haven't done... Uh, what else can I show you guys? I have some nice items, though again, it's only really dependent on my level. Uh, so I did find this sword in the ocean, uh, I'm not going to tell you guys where that is, I'd let that up to you guys to find. But the Moonblade, I, it was a relic, so I thought that was really kind of cool. But uh, everything else here is pretty, pretty basic. Actually, I should equip that because that is my sword that has a rune in it, which I think is quite cool. Anyway, enough, uh, enough blabbering, let's go see if we can find this lady missing in the missing in the woods. Which is in the general direction of that away. Cool, so to talk about this game rather briefly, I love this game. I don't know how I can really put how I love this game to words. Like, the, it's not so much the story that, that has captured me, it's more so the world itself and just how immersive it can be. Like, the world is just so... I, I don't think alive is the right word for it. It's just so engrossing and immersive. I, I really do love how it, how it plays out, so yeah, we've got to go this way. So let's go in here. Now, this probably won't exactly be 60 FPS as a, well, which it doesn't run at 60 for me, but it does run reasonably well, so expect at least 30. Yeah, there's a hut up here. I'm guessing maybe that might be the place that she wanted into. Maybe a witch's hut? No. Yeah, I'm walking away. Oh, barely not. Or maybe, I don't know. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Oh, really? I don't have delusion. Okay, um, I will ask him what they want. P pretty basic. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. 
and he's got hardened pustules all over him. Oh, okay then. Um, you leave and I'll heal him. Oh, okay. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads! Whoop! That, that was unexpected. <laughs> Suddenly combat. Not gonna stand still, I'm sorry. I'm not usually one for doing that. So, combat probably isn't my strongest suit. I'm not going to lie, I'm not that good at it. Uh, especially not when I'm walking to a tree. Clearly that's not the not the best course of action. But uh, I do like the combat though. The combat does feel very... Maybe not meaty is the right word for it. It feels good though. Did they just shoot their own guys twice? I think they did. Oh well, not my, not my complaint. Uh, there goes my shield. So yeah, I usually, again, focus mostly on utilizing my Quen, which is my shield of sorts like that. Uh, and that'll usually take about one or so hits before breaking completely, which is great because usually by the time I actually do take another hit, I am able to cast it again, which I think is the greatest of things. So yeah, you're the only guy left here. I'm, I feel sorry for you, my friend. There we go. Okay. Mm, gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Ooh, a bolt. That is nice. I don't know where he was carrying flowers. Maybe he was being romantic. Oh, <laughs> let's get here. Another bolt again. Nice. And some fish. Because why not? Uh, Geralt loves to eat a lovely snack after combat. He loves to chow down on some fish. Uh, and a crown's sweet. And a die. I haven't seen any dies before. That's an interesting item to have. And you have crowns, of course. Okay. Hello. Let's go say hello to this guy. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils? Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Gotta give the, the game credit, it is gorgeous. I just have to say that. I'm not even running on the highest settings and it is still gorgeous. Uh, okay. Uh, expecting me? You were expecting me. I, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Alrighty then. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper. Designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna. To protect her. Uh, I don't think this is relevant to the quest I'm doing. I think I may have accidentally stumbled into a previous quest. Or a quest I had started, but never quite finished. Uh, let's... Yeah, okay. Uh, you make it. You make the amulet? I. Sure it was the Peller, after the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go, it protected well, should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. I think this might, yeah, I think this might actually be another quest. Uh, let's go with this, though. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost. Lost. Must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. 
Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Uh, okay. <laughs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow! But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. <laughs> I have to admit, I do love the snarkiness of Geralt. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Uh, that being said, I wasn't actually doing that quest. I swear I wasn't doing that one. Let me go back to my quest log here. Uh, sorry, that, that one there. We just no, 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 no. I think I actually stumbled across it. I, I, I have feeling that was nothing at all that I was meant to do. I wanted, I was doing this one initially. Can we track that one again, please? Thank you. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. We'll, we'll find the goat in due time. Uh, poor guy, though, leaving behind him and his goat. <laughs> I, I thought it was funny that he was calling it Princess. Regardless, though, we just have to head up here. It wasn't too far away. I swear it wasn't. I mean, there could be anything out in the forest here. It'd be funny if I do end up coming across the goat instead of the person I need to be coming across. But again, this game, I, I, I have to say, before I get into uh, a quest where I probably won't be able to talk much, the game itself, look, I mean, look at this. Wildlife, trees, grass, rain, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I, and, and the voice acting, the sound design of this game is amazing. The, the, the greatest thing I think with the game is when it's either sun setting or sun rising, or even like a really big storm. But let us look for what we are here to look for. I hear a few wolves over there. They don't sound too happy to see me. Uh, let's take them out real quick. It shouldn't take me too long. And again, you can see my sword has runes in it, which I think is the coolest of things. Uh, I think it actually glows when I use my vision. No, I think it just glows whenever it feels like it. But these wolves aren't hostile. Oh, now they are. Okay. Okay, let's pull back. When? And that didn't help me much at all. Again, I will say, not good at combat. Really not good at combat. Especially when it comes up against, uh... I mean, okay, I'm not terrible against wolves, but you know what I did. The, the great thing I have to admit... Oh, wow. The great thing about the Quen, at least at the level I'm at right now, it is quite, uh, quite effective. Especially when it's got the whole, uh, what should we call it? The stun that it occasionally does, because it erupts twice now, I think. Oh, here we go. Witcher? What are you doing here? Shouldn't be in the forest alone. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Don't want to know what happened to her? I've no illusions, Witcher. In Velen, you're gone as long as she's been. You don't come back. Hannah's dead for certain. Neelan ought to accept his loss. Move on with his life. Oh, I, I thought that was her for a second. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's ask. Strange. People usually prefer to know the fate of their loved ones, whatever the cost. What good will it do? I'll not get my sister back. And Neelan's all I got left. I can't lose him too. And, well, he'll not rest till he avenges his Hannah, even if it eats up his life. The man deserves better. I really want to find her though, like... Sorry, not in the habit of leaving jobs undone. Folks speak true about you witchers. You're heartless beasts. Whoa, well, well, why am I heartless? I just want to find a little bit of closure for the poor guy. I mean, maybe in a way I, I am kind of heartless for, you know, not wanting to give up the quest, but still. Ew. Mm, no man did this. Yeah, okay, let's inspect. Hmm. Cuts. Made with long claws. Flesh torn clear off. Alrighty then. Uh, a long claw beast is in the forest. Well, maybe. 
They haven't really spoken much about it. Uh, there's claw footprints. Claw marks. Deep. Or claw marks. Either one, I, I guess, is fine. Uh, claw... It's not a griffin, is it? It can't be a griffin. Not, not in a forest like this, that's for sure. So where do they lead? I mean, we could follow it. I don't see it going anywhere, though. At least not over here. It's gigantic rock. Let's just go to... Yeah, let's wander around a little bit. See if we can see any other... Any other signs or clues, because there's only a few footprints, so maybe something a little bit more out here. And that's the great thing about a lot of the quests in Witcher, is that they're not really... I mean, okay, admittedly, some of them can be quite uh, direct in, in the sense that they tell you exactly where you need to go. Uh, as with some are quite more open-ended, you have to do the discovery on your own. And not, not in all cases do you actually have to do that. Uh, some of the times, it you, you have to figure out exactly where to go yourself. Now this one here is a little bit of, of like in between. Did I not discover everything here before I left off? I thought maybe I could have missed something here. Normally it'll tell me to examine it if I necessarily need to. Ah, oh, here we go. What are you? Smell of rotting corpse. Blood spattered all pieces, literally. Uh, uh, Geralt, you're talking Werewolves. twice there, my friend. No doubt about it. Got to be careful. Oh, werewolves! I don't like them. I fought one once before, but not as, uh, yeah, okay. Anything else around here? I hear sounds. It's, it's one cool thing about Geralt, is when he uses his Witcher senses, he has a tendency to focus in on distant sounds, which I think is really cool sounding, but it's a little, uh, how should I put it? It's a little creepy sometimes, I guess. Tough to fur. Uh, whatever lost it hasn't bathed in a while. Nice to know. <laughs> and now we can follow the scent of the werewolf. So this is actually going to be a really good quest to demonstrate a lot of what the Witcher is. I mean, you are a you're you're a monster hunter. You're a professional monster hunter. So doing stuff like this, I think, is actually pretty damn cool. So I mean, obviously the scent has been blown away by the wind a little bit here, but it is cool though to see. To to, to for one mission, a, a simple simple task to turn into something a little bit more. You know, a little bit more than just what it was. Uh, there's something over here. I think it's just a plant, though. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what is over here? Just keep an eye out for that scent. There's definitely something all the way over there. I don't know. Maybe that's a guy? Who knows? Let's run, and we'll try to get through this quickly. I mean, it's probably just going to leave me around circles for a little while, though. Oh, into a tree? No, through a tree. Okay. I keep forgetting that the paths of these can change. Uh, I think it also depends on maybe if there's a storm. Oh. That's not good sounds. I mean, yeah. I can... I hear you over there, Man's whatever clothes. you are. Shredded, but no sign of blood. Who rips their own clothes off, leaves them in the woods. A werewolf, maybe? <laughs> I hear that. That... Either there's a bear or a werewolf, and uh, yeah, I'm a little, a little scared. Uh, find the werewolf, Blair, using the Witcher senses. I just want to see what this is because like I am. Hunter's quarters. I'm not looking for the hunter. I'm looking for this thing. What are you? Oh, you're a bear. That, oh, that's that's nice. I'm glad I came across a bear out of all things. <laughs> Come here, bear. Let's take out. Oh, you're bigger than I thought you were. Holy crap! Oh my god! No, okay, I thought he was teeny! <laughs> I really didn't think I'd be fighting a gigantic bear. <laughs> okay. Come on! Let's fight this bear. You and me, bud. <laughs> He's not happy. Oh, definitely not happy. There he goes. I the one thing I admit I don't like about the game is the lock on. For whatever the lock on to me does not feel good. I I much rather the free aim of all things. It just feels more natural. There we go, we actually killed the bear. This is my first bear kill, by the way. Nothing too special, but still, I, I'd never actually killed a bear before. 
But here we go, here's the, uh, here's the hunter's hut. Maybe the hunter himself became a werewolf, which would be kind of sad. The hunter becomes the, well, now hunted. Even though I'm guessing there's probably something below here. Let's have a look. Probably not many clues inside the building, but at least we can have a look around, see what we can see. A little bit of silk, why not? I guess a few chests. I, I feel a little guilty, I admit. Sometimes when I- Ooh, crossbow. An exploding- Thank you, oh my god. You are one generous man. I mean, if he's dead, you know, you... I think I'd much rather put these things Notes. to use. Ooh. Wonder who's. Okay. I, I, I admit, I do like- I do dislike, sorry, that you can't just pick- uh, can't just read stuff without having to pick it up. Uh, one, one of those things that the game does. Oh, crossbow. As opposed to what we have, which is... Where is our crossbow? I think our crossbow is terrible in comparison to this one. Oh, well, kind of. Let's, let's give that one a try. And we have, the, uh, we have broadhead bolts that we can't use. And where did the explosive ones go? Unless they were... No, no, no. I thought we just picked up explosive bolts. I could be mistaken. I, I thought maybe we did. Okay. But it, it is nice that you can change the type of ammunition you want to use. Uh, again, I'm very early on in the game. I barely scratch the surface with with this game and that, that's the really cool thing about it is that this game has that much depth to it uh anyways uh mysterious note i am who i am i can't change that shirts woven of piles the impotions made of virgin tears might work on old wives tales but not for me it's time to come with terms with hannah's love and iron discipline i found a way to manage but i must remember to hide in the woods before the full moon rises so he's acknowledged that he is a werewolf and he is also in love with hannah which might be why the sister oh i know I think they're still fine, it's just they Hannah's decided to be with him instead. Maybe. Uh, uh, the attack comes and passes, then I wake up with the wounds on my hands. It's blood in my mouth, perhaps it's for the best that I don't, uh, best that I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. I, I have a very sad feeling that this is what's happened. Maybe Hannah's decided to go be with him instead and he may have accidentally hurt her, hence why she hasn't returned at all. But then the sister didn't want me to go, so I'm thinking maybe the sister knows of the relationship. Which is intriguing, to say the least. Let's have a look at this. Oh, so there's a key required. Okay. Well, I'll go have a look around then. See if I can find myself a key. Hopefully you guys like the high quality. If I end up rendering it in the high quality, it'll take me a little while to change around all that stuff to get that to render. But if I do, it should look rather nice. At least hopefully, hopefully it will. It'll take me a little while longer to upload. That's probably a, an issue of doing high quality videos. I want to try. I don't know why I want to try this out. Uh, so someone requested I try doing high quality at one point, and I wanted to give it a trial. So I mean, a Witcher video like this is probably a great example or, or a great uh, testing run. Ah, uh, blood. Yeah. Hmm. Blood's just barely dried. He was dragged here. Wonder where from. Of course he was dragged, and we know who by, at least we could probably guess, um, oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, I love stuff in the game that makes me feel like a badass, and that just made me feel like a badass. Okay, let's go down here and let's see what there is. Actually, what we will do, we won't use the bell, we'll use the, uh, we'll use the torch. Not necessary, but... Actually, yeah, no, let's go, let's go quiet and sneaky, because I don't want to, I mean, he could be asleep, uh, I'm guessing maybe Hannah's here as well, just kind of resting, maybe. I don't have any potions that will allow, ooh, wow, I was going to say, I don't have any potions that will allow me to see in the night, the, the game is so depthy, uh, uh, depthy is not really a word, Brad, but it kind of summarizes how the game plays. Uh, the, uh, the weapons have uh, rune stones uh, where you can stick different benefits. Like this one here, I've stuck in a armor piercing rune stone, which you can actually see the rune stone on the sword, or more so the the rune writing on the sword, which I think is the greatest thing ever. Uh, unique weapons, uh, different scaled weapons, and so on that I think is really quite cool. Uh, everything here can be broken down: uh, red, cooked food, so on. Potions can be brewed, uh, giving you different effects. Uh, which I think is the great... I mean, I, I've played Witcher 2. If you played Witcher 2, you'll obviously love Witcher 3. I never finished Witcher 2. I had played it, though. Uh, I, the, I do love the skill tree. The skill tree is so much better than this. It's a lot more streamlined, a lot more uh, easier to kind of navigate and read. And I love how things tie together, especially with the mutagens kind of uh, giving benefits to uh, certain thing. Because uh, I have this setup where I've got two 
uh, sign skills in here, and because I'm using, they're, they're counted as blue, I guess, or because I'm using a, a, a sign mutagen, it kind of benefits everything even more so than what it would uh, normally do. So the sign sensitivity is 21, as opposed to what it would be if I put, say, a green, where's it? Let's just put this in here, just for now. You guys can see, it reduces that there's no benefit from this anymore. I mean, they they, they have their own perks of nature, but uh, it's not as good as what would happen if I had, say, that on, as you can see, the connection. Which is great. Uh, even though these aren't really offensive spells, it's still kind of cool to have. But, um, yeah, this is just, again, so much of this game. There's also some very dark lore and mythology to this. I can't remember what the right word is that I'm trying to think of. But, but the story going back behind some of these creatures, for example, the spectres. I'm not going to read this out myself, but I read, I read this out on, on a stream the other day when I was streaming this game. And reading this particular description made me feel kind of sad. I, okay, I'll read out some of it then. I'll read out the, the second paragraph here. On a particular searing summer days, when it reaches, when the sun reaches its zenith, rain... Uh, wait, well, that's not the part I was going to read. These are noon rays, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the fields in search of their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why if everyone, uh, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veal in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. These noon rays are literally dead brides. Before they got married, they have, they have died, and now they're tied into the world here. Which is kind of depressing in a way. And, and a lot of creatures have these sorts of backgrounds to them. Maybe, maybe not all of them. But a, a lot of them have some tie-in with mythology in some way. I think it's Scandinavian mythology in, in most cases. Which is kind of cool, because it's a different... Cause I, I don't normally hear about this type of stuff, so playing a Witcher game where it has this type of stuff, I think is really cool. I mean, you can kind of guess what drowners are. Uh... Drowners resemble corpse stretch at the bottom of a pond, sickly blue color, blah blah blah. Uh, That's why it's often thought drowners, along with their more dangerous cousins, Vodnik, Muckers, uh, and Drowned Dead, arise from the bodies of those who drowned in shallow waters. Lost travelers falling into bogs, children who swim too far from the shore, or in the case of Vodnik, uh, Vodnik, sorry, I was thinking of a military vehicle, uh, peasants who stumble off narrow swamp tra uh, trails. So, yeah, everything has a reason for being, and a lot of these creatures are. For the most part, obviously, un uh, not insectoids or anything like that. But a, a lot of these creatures are humans who have either died in some violent way, which is kind of depressing in a way. Uh, maybe it's just me who thinks about it in that way. That doesn't sound good. I don't like that at all. Oh. Is he coming home, or is that... I think somebody's coming home. Oh, oh, okay. Can we hide, maybe? No, I don't think hiding's a better option. Let's grab what we can. There is this here as well, I've noticed. I don't know what that was, though. No, he's... Yeah, he's definitely coming. Oh, he, yeah, he got a horse. Uh, a cow, not a horse. <laughs> Where is he? Because I definitely think that's him. For whatever, I, I I could be completely wrong, and that isn't him at all. But I I ooh nice. <laughs> and here I am just looting all his all his stuff. That that must be him. I mean, if that's not him, then I I don't know. It could be a bear actually. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go outside and just see who that was. If that was anyone turning up. I have a feeling, not a good feeling, but a feeling nonetheless. Hello? Nope, not the feeling I was having. Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait for nightfall. Nah, that makes sense, Brad. <laughs> Here I was thinking, you know, uh, there's a little bit more to that than what I was doing. But no, wait. Yeah, there's a bear, isn't there? Oh, god damn it, bear. Okay. Whew. 
Oh, that wasn't good. Just too far away, of course. Come on. Oh my goodness, he can knock you back. Come on, come at me, bear. And there we go. Okay, the bear has now been defeated. Let us, uh, let's grab this stuff, and what, what I'll do is I will, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's telling me to go, I, I think that's the under the ground thingy there. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll sit out here and I'll wait till night time, uh, and maybe see if he arrives. Uh, should be interesting to see. So let us wait till night time here. And see who turns up. Please don't kill me straight away. No, okay, good. I was a little afraid. Uh, yeah, let us wander down in there now and see what exactly will happen. Maybe he's there right now, which is strange that he wouldn't notice me. Or he'll turn up in a very, very short while, which I'm a little afraid of. Hello. Looking for a... Whoa. Uh, <laughs> looking for a wolf. Uh, a, a werewolf, to be more precise. Hello. Not, not yet. Okay, we'll wait then. Sadly, uh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll give it some. I wonder if he'll actually r r run down here. What I'll do, I'll wait. I'll I'll stand here, and I want to see if he'll actually turn up. It says wait for nightfall. It's almost nightfall, and I want to see if the game will trigger this, or whether or not I have to be away and skip time for this quest to activate. Let, let's, let's see. Let's wait and see. Oh God, I hear him. I hear more than just him. What is that? Oh, it's wolves, of course. So I need silver sword for him, but still sword for them. That's fine. Let's go and say hello, shall we? <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> Oh no, they require white as well. Strange. Come on. Let's oh, oh my god, I was going to say let's dance. That's not dancing, that's being aggressive. Ow. Okay. Okay, I don't like your aggression. Let's try something, let's go with Axie this time around. Yeah, there we go, that was definitely a hit. Oh, he summoned more wolves, didn't he? Nobody's regenerating. No thank you. Okay, don't be so aggressive. <laughs> That's one thing you learn in this game, or at least one I'm still learning, is to not be as aggressive as what you normally would, and I'm walking over corpse. What I'm going to quickly check is not the tutorial, I'm sorry, not the tutorial, but the beastery. Because this can actually help me understand a little bit more about the, where are they? I thought the, um, huh. I thought I had defeated a werewolf before, maybe not. Huh, okay. I don't have a werewolf entry then, so I have no idea how to defeat a werewolf. Man, okay, let's try and figure this out. Because clearly what I'm doing isn't working. Well, they got him down a bit, that's for sure. And he's not regenerating anymore. Okay, now he is. Okay. 
Come on, bud. I'm not gonna kill you. I didn't want to kill you. No! Stop! Don't harm him. Here we go. I think we need to talk. It's Nalan. Wait. Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse. So sorry, but I have to. You don't understand. I love him. He was near to being mine till you came along. Go away. Leave us be. Huh. Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here. That night. It was the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn. I did it for us. She was to see you turn, not more. I didn't want her death. You've got to believe me. I don't. And I'll kill you willingly. First time for that, in fact. You won't kill anyone ever again. Oh. This is saddening. Don't hurt him. Get out of here before I change my mind. Run. It was that. It was either she dies or he dies. And I kind of hit her almost. <laughs> Ow, you motherfucker! Okay, yeah, he's healing still. Wait up. Come on, down you go, my friend. Sorry, it had to be this way. <laughs> oh my, I am so sorry. That quest turned out to be a lot more than I was honestly expecting. Uh, so, okay, I, I have to start describing the quest from the start, I guess. That would probably be the easiest way to do this. Basically, a hunter in a, a town wanted... Hang on, let me just take all that. Oh, his key. Nice. Um, a hunter in a town, his wife went missing uh, for a few days, and he wanted someone to find her. So I thought I would go, and I would go find her. So I went to go talk to the hunter, and basically ask if he knew where his wife went, in, in, like, in a general direction. Uh, he said no, he he didn't. I asked around the town, and uh, I asked her sister. Her sister said she doesn't know where she went, and I asked a few children who said that she went to the forest. So, I going into the forest, obviously you guys caught up with that part there. But as it turns out, for anyone who didn't understand, turns out her sister was in love with the hunter, and the hunter was a werewolf. So what she did is to scare her sister of she basically wanted the sister to see yeah she she wanted the sister to see the husband transform but instead he ended up killing her which was kind of sad so yeah okay uh well that'll end that quest and i think that might end this video here i can't really talk to her but i don't see why i necessarily probably would uh, so that was a depressing quest. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I might cut it down and edit out a few bits, and hopefully it'll be rendered in 1080p and maybe around 60. If it runs at 60, it probably won't. Uh, so it might be 30 FPS. If that's the case, I apologize. I wanted to try higher quality. Obviously, Witcher and Space Engineers don't exactly run at 60 as it is, unless you're running an empty world. 
But anyway, I'll leave that here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys want to see more random videos like this in the future, Witcher, so on, maybe a few quests here and there, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.